Spacecraft Voyager 1, which left Earth 33 years ago, has reached the edge of our solar system, nearly 11 billion miles away. It launched in September 1977 with the original aim of surveying the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. It managed that by 1989 and carried on in the general direction of the centre of our Milky Way. Scientists now say the probe has detected a distinct change in the flow of particles that surround it, which means it's very close to reaching the edge of the solar system. Well, to explain what that means, I'm now joined by Dr. Marek Kakula, the public astronomer at the Royal Observatory Greenwich. Um, Doctor, first of all, I said that phrase, the edge of the solar system. Uh, does it have an edge? What does that mean? Well, it's really unexplored territory. As well as the heat and light that the sun puts out, it blasts out this constant wind of particles, which spreads way beyond the furthest planet. But eventually it does slow to a halt, and we think this is the region that Voyager has now reached. And it's heading for what? Where is he off to? In a few years' time, it will leave the region of space dominated by the sun and head out into interstellar space, out into our Milky Way galaxy. It's the furthest object and the fastest object that human beings have, have ever created. How long can it keep going that way? Well, it has a power source which will last for perhaps another 15 years, but even when that runs out, it will carry on going. And um, in about 40,000 years, it will pass by another star. So a long journey. So will it still be able to keep communicating as it carries on that journey? Certainly for the next 10 or 15 years or so, but after that it will become an inert monument, if you like, and it does carry a a plaque telling people where it's come from. Um, As fuel prices rise here on Earth, people will be wondering how on Earth it keeps going for that amount of time, 33 years. It has a a radioactive isotope on board and it's the heat from the decay of that which is powering it. But that won't last forever, so it only has a a limited lifetime. So eventually it'll just stop or it'll keep floating out in the it direction will float of the, on of the Milky Way? For, forever, essentially. So it's not going to stop, but its, its systems will power down and it won't be able to communicate anymore. Until maybe something finds it. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, Dr. Marek Kukula from the Royal Observatory, thanks for joining us. Thank you.